think the worst thing you can do as a woman is not be nonchalant. And this comes as an ex-lover girl that used to be like, I'm not gonna hold anything back. I'm gonna go full force for it. When I was 21, I met this guy in Miami. Within two weeks, I was like, listen, I'm gonna fly to LA. I can't let this go. Yeah! a month i was kind of like what are we I invested all this time into you i want to know where this is going i think as women the worst thing we have is this idea of scarcity mindset whereas men have this idea of plentitude men not think that you are going to be like the last good woman they're ever going to meet and know they can go to the club they can pick up some girl and she's probably going to start folding his laundry and feeding him within a week how much you want to bet this shit literally all comes down to the chase no one wants to hear it and nobody wants to play games but that's kind of what it is like about the guy that's like way too much on you it's very off-putting it's like Dude, what's wrong with you? When you over invest into men and you prioritize them, you give them all of the power. <laughs> wrong, wrong. Being nonchalant puts you at an advantage. You see what I'm saying? How women want power? She's mad because she can't have the power. That's all it is. She wants the upper hand because she's probably been out there in the streets messing around in relationships because she's attractive. And she's, you know, she's, she's got the word that, hey, your looks ain't enough. She said that she was talking to the guy for two weeks and then she came to LA and then she was here for a month and she started asking, what are we, are we? Because, you know, she's invested so much time. That's not a lot of time. So it had to be something that she saw, probably something monetarily that she saw that she was attracted to, or he had some kind of connection that she wanted or something like that. That's why she jumped head first, rushed right into it. And she probably got out here and discovered what a lot of women do when they come to LA. LA is full of beautiful women. There's nothing unique about beautiful women in LA. Oh, you keeping it real. They're here, they're born here, and they come here from all over the world. Personally, with dating moving forward, I know that if I want to actually get to know someone and not romanticize this idea of them and fall in love with their potential, I have to date several people at one time because then that way, I literally cannot physically prioritize you. That you heard that? She's a player. Now see, what she's doing, and I just did, did another video about this, she has been reading pickup artists, men pickup artists books or something like that because she's saying a lot of things that you would hear from that. And I can always tell because they have like this attitude when they talk, it's almost like they're turning uh, into a masculine man at the same time. Damn right. Yeah. Eventually I can wean that down and start to see, okay, who really is a good person for me. This is why you will notice that men end up on top most of the time because they've taken a really long time to finally settle down with somebody. If you draw back your energy, you'll realize how much oftentimes the ideas that you've created in your head are false and this person's not even as great as you thought they were. A lot of times in my own personal life, he invests so much into a man for him to pick up everything I invested into him and then go to the next girl that's like literally not even paying him any attention and treating her beautifully rejected like i said a lot of these women get reality checks when they understand that their beauty is not unique and there's nothing super special about them but they do nothing to work on who they are as a person and again she's speaking from a personal experience so now she has to make a video telling every single woman to do the same exact thing but she's not married she's leading with her sexuality she's sitting up there with this big pink outfit on breast showing making sure you can see her torso and everything else still leading with her sexuality it's not enough stop it your sexuality your beauty is not enough it's just not and it's never going to be not for any man that's worthy and men will tell you anything they can just to get what they need and bounce because if they see you playing games they're just going to get you back in that same way and you're going to be the one left holding the bag at the end Stop taking things personally as well because people have their own shit going on and stop making someone's validation and acceptance of you your self-image and self-worth. I have dated men that have treated women horribly before and then treated me wonderfully and then I've also dated men that have treated me horribly and treated the next woman beautifully. The way to leave relationships unscathed or any type of situationship is to just not over invest yourself or to take anything personal that people do. Move at the pace that they're moving. If you've ever watched Miss Sprinkle, she Oh hell no! She always talks about how the more men invest into you money wise, the harder it is for them to leave. I'm in this oh here we go now this explains it all this damn miss sprinkle lady but it just shows you how easily women are led by other women and how easy women soak up bad advice and take it to heart 
because they all live up under this umbrella, this female umbrella. Oh, she's a woman. She wouldn't lead me astray. Applies also is just with our energy and kind of like our sexual presence and stuff. The slower you are to sleep with them, the slower you are to invest your energy into them, the slower you are to center them into your life, the easier it will be for you to leave or not care when things are not going right. The worst thing. And you see this right here. This is this living in fear. See, a lot of women do this and you guys really need to stop. You live in this world of what if, what if this happens? Well, what if that happens? Well, I got to have my back because what if this happens? Well, I got to make sure that I don't share it all because what if this guy leaves me? What if this, what if this? Everything in life is a risk. You walk outside, that's a risk. You cross the street, you might get ran over. That's a risk. Love is risk. Living is risk. Life without risk is not living at all. So living in this fear mindset of what could happen is another thing that's destroying so many women. Stop it. Get some help. Because you live in fear. And one reason you live in fear is because you live in the stories of other women that are not telling you the whole truth. Because women don't like to take accountability for anything. Like she, like another video I did and you know, they were talking about closure, looking for closure. Women are looking for closure, but they never ever take accountability for what it is they do. That's why they can't close the door. That's why they can't close the chapter. Stop living in the life of other women's experiences. Just like this video. This is her experience. Now she's trying to tell you what to do as a woman. Just like that uh, sprinkle sprinkle lady is trying to tell you something. Find who you are and stay in that place. Do not live in someone else's story because like I always say, women that give this advice, they're not really looking out for you. They're not. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And as always, have a great day. Peace. May the force be with you.